donkey of the day for Friday, April 7th goes to a teacher in Hernando County, Florida, who has not been identified. But I just want to say that I have always said the craziest people in America are in Florida and the Bronx. And this story is disturbing because if the teachers in Florida are doing what this teacher in Florida is doing, then the cycle of craziness will only continue. Okay, see, this teacher was fired after giving students an, ass an assignment district officials felt was not appropriate. Now, I know we have a lot of teachers, principals, and superintendents who listen to this show, so I want to hear from y'all on this topic. This unidentified teacher gave out a questionnaire to the students titled, How Comfortable Am I? Okay, and I'm looking at it. It was a series of questions which asked students about their comfort level about certain things. Okay, the categories are not comfortable at all. Uh -huh. uneasy, mm -hmm. uh, fairly comfortable, completely okay. comfortable. Okay. And you have to check one based on your comfort level to the following things. I'll read a couple to you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to start with you, Envy. All right. Okay. Uh, Envy. Yes. Uh, a friend invites you to go to a gay bar. Are you not comfortable at all, uneasy, fairly comfortable, or completely comfortable? I'm comfortable. Okay. All right. I think he's lying. Uh, your, your, your new roommate is Palestinian and Muslim. Are you not comfortable at all? Uneasy, fairly comfortable, completely comfortable. I don't even know what that means. I'm comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you, you find out the person you are attracted to is a transgender. Are you not comfortable at all? Uneasy, fairly comfortable, completely comfortable. Awkward. Okay. He's honest. At least he's being honest. But you can't say awkward, so you're not. Let me see. Uneasy. Okay. You're uneasy. All right. All right. A, a Native American student invites you to a powwow. Not comfortable at all. Uneasy, fairly comfortable, completely comfortable. We smoking weed, powwow? I don't know. Oh, comfortable. Okay, comfortable. All right. These are the kind of questions this teacher in Hernando County, Florida, had on the questionnaire. I can't make this kind of stuff up. Let's go to WFTS TV, ABC Action News for the report. Earlier this week at Fox Chapel Middle School, 12-year-old Tori Drew says her teacher handed out an assignment that students questioned. I thought it was very inappropriate. I thought some of them were racist. I thought some of them were sexist. The extra assignment asked students a list of questions about their comfort. How comfortable are you if you see a group of black men walking to you on the street? In no world whatsoever is that okay to question a, a child on. There were children that were saying, um, this is wrong. Why are we doing this? Does this have a reason? She was going, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of wrong. Maybe I should take it back. Tori says she got the questionnaire in her seventh period leader in me class where students were learning how to accept differences in others. Kids were asking if they could show their parents. Um, she was like, no, don't show your mom. Don't take that home. I'm taking it back up. OK, let me tell you some more of these questions on this comfort level test. Uh, your dentist is HIV positive. Uh, you go to church and discover your pastor is a woman. The young man sitting next to you on the plane is Arab. The woman sitting next to you on the plane is 250 pounds. Your next door neighbor's a gay and lesbian. Your mother comes out to you. That one is funny. Your mother comes out to you. You find out your aunt is really your mom's lover. Look, the problem with this questionnaire is, is planting seeds of discomfort in a, ge in a generation that probably isn't thinking about being uncomfortable about these things. I'm a grown ass man, and I haven't thought about a lot of things on this questionnaire, but when you read the questionnaire and then ask me if I'm uncomfortable with this or not, I think about it. Am I supposed to be uncomfortable? Like your brother's new girlfriend is a single mother on welfare. Are you not comfortable at all? Uneasy, fairly comfortable, completely comfortable. I never thought about it, but now that I think about it, I want to know what this young woman on welfare who has kids is doing with my brother. Is she using them for a come up? Should I be concerned? You know what? I am a little uneasy about this. Your sister invites her new boyfriend home for dinner. He is a female to male transsexual. These are actual questions on this questionnaire. I never thought about this before, but now that you're asking me, this could be awkward, especially if I knew him before. So Brenda, I mean, Brad, how are you? Okay, the moral of the story is, why are you asking me all these hypothetical questions? I hate hypothetical questions. All hypothetical questions do is make me think about things that I wasn't thinking about before, okay? Hey, teacher in Hernando County, Florida. You know what makes me uncomfortable? Hypothetical questions. Hey, teacher in Hernando County, Florida. You know what else makes me uncomfortable? This how uncomfortable or how comfortable am I test, okay? If you're wondering, the teacher was fired, and I would love for someone to reach out to her and ask if she's uncomfortable with being fired, okay? Look, I'm all for introducing new curriculum in the classroom, but I'm not for introducing new prejudices, okay? Please give this unidentified teacher in Hernando County, Florida, the biggest hee-haw. Okay.